need a spoon. Here we are again, another morning, doing what we do best here in Foragers National Park. Eating. <laughs> we just make such good food. My mom makes such good food that it's like the best part of vacation. Eating amazing meals. After a little bit of exploring and some fishing, we are under our tarp because it's kind of kind of gross out and windy, and we're playing some good old-fashioned family poker here out on our uh, a little table here. <laughs> we're just having some fun, waiting for uh, waiting for dinner time and enjoying some. Uh, I think we're having burritos, burritos. so hopefully those are going to be good. We'll uh, we'll show you the amazing burritos when they are ready to be eaten. Here we are with the burritos. Rain, shine, sun, wind, clouds, we're on our dock. Here is uh, to another great meal. We have some burritos, some guacamole with our coveted sporks. All enjoying dinner. Mm. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to day seven here in Voyagers National Park. Uh, today, we're back on the breakfast rotation with pancakes. Oh, this time, no blueberries, but we have sausages. We got the sausages cooking up on the uh, good old skillet. We got the pancake batter ready to go in. We're gonna make us some more delicious pancakes for breakfast. See the flip. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah, we're putting some toppings on. Of course you gotta have peanut butter. Some syrup. Look at that. That is the best looking pancake ever. Jeez. And a sausage. Breakfast of Voyager champions. Well, after that amazing breakfast, um, Olivia and I decided to take a Voyager shower, i.e. jump off the dock, soap up and jump off the dock again. And I'll tell you what, it is not one of the warmer days. It is cloudy, cold, windy, and uh, chilly. So if I don't get hypothermia, I'll see you. I'll see you probably when I start fishing. But in hindsight, we both smell very good. Here we are getting chased back under the tarp from our boat ventures. Um, it's raining a little bit. We are That is why we're under the tarp. Mother Nature is farting. So <laughs> we're gonna try to play some games. We got some yam slam going. And uh, we're just gonna play some games, eat some snacks and Try to make the best of this day. Well, I'd say it's raining hard. <laughs> well, we'll give a, a Voyager update. It's raining harder now. <laughs> um, it's we can barely see across. We can barely see out, it's raining so hard. Let's see how uh, much water we got here. <laughs> yes, it is raining quite hard. Ah, oh, jeez, But uh, hard. The hard stuff you have to come. <laughs> We've moved to a new game, we're playing Uno. 
So, yes, it is raining very hard. Well, uh, the rain has stopped. So, we're gonna try to go out fishing. It uh, doesn't look doesn't look the best on the horizon behind me. Well, guys. What? We're going out fishing! Well, here we are in the uh, surprisingly sunnier evening than what it looked like earlier on in the day. We are just getting back from a fishing little adventure, and my mom has yet another dinner that looks absolutely amazing. Cooked up and just about ready for us to eat, and I'll give you, give you a sneak peek of it. Does that look good, Mom? Oh, wait, there is more. Give them a show. Our one day of Oh! Vegetables. Green beans! Isn't everyone excited for a little bit of vegetables while they're camping? <laughs> but you know, we love some green beans, so. Mom, you had another meal that looks amazing. Cooked for dinner. Scoop them up. We use the utensils here. another great meal from the dock with an amazing view. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning on a, another kind of cloudy day eight here in Voyagers National Park. We're starting off the morning right with some more breakfast pudgy pies. Mm, a staple here in Voyagers National Park for us camping. Um, I'm not sure what the agenda is for today, but you know, I'll let you know when we get there. Well, the uh, sun came up and we found something to do. If you maybe can recognize I'm on a different dock and that is because we found an un you know un uninhabited campsite that we are going to going to go explore and just check out because you know that's what voyagers do. Whoa! What do you think, Ginger? It's very uh this campsite looks very tree, but I think it looks cool. The general consensus was that uh, our current campsite is better than that one and now we are trying to avoid the wind with this microphone but <laughs> now we're out here in the open water fishing some rocks and maybe jigging for walleyes so big fish are on the horizon I can smell them oh, yeah. Olivia. Oh, 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 babe, I said watch out yeah. Ginger what's that <laughs> Ginger what is he <laughs> see little guy <laughs> Do you not like it? Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Well, there you go. My monster of a smallmouth bass. Well, the day got hot and the uh, the fishing, quite frankly, sucks. So, uh, we're going swimming out here in the middle of, of the good old lake. So... I, it's, 70 feet. it's only 70 feet deep, so if you find us at the bottom, that's where we are. Let's see it, Olivia. Go cool off. Let's see the graceful jump. Whee! <laughs> Catch you guys later. Woo! Do you this? Do you this? Go get it!
today was definitely a, uh, a different day. It started off pretty windy and cold with our sweatshirts and sweatpants on. And then we got on the boat, tried to do some fishing. Uh, kind of unsuccessful, and we caught two fish in the whole boat. Um, and then it got so freaking hot that we had to jump in and go swim in the middle of the lake because we were just sitting there sweating. And now we're back on our favorite spot on our dock, enjoying a little bit of a different dinner here. We've got mac and cheese with bacon and bratwurst chopped up in a bowl with yet another amazing view of the sunset right off our favorite dock. So thank you for watching today and tomorrow unfortunately is our last full day here in Foragers National Park so it'll be a sad but hopefully very fun day. Good night everyone. <clears throat> Well, good morning. It is day nine here in Voyagers National Park, and sadly, this is our last full day in this amazing campground, campsite, and body of water. But we're gonna make the most of it. Mother Nature is not has not been the nicest to us this morning. As you can see, it is pretty windy, cloudy. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. It's a little little chilly, so we're all in sweatshirts and sweatpants. But I think today we're just going to enjoy our last full day here, hopefully do some fishing, hopefully catch some fish, and as always, we're going to eat some great food. So I'll bring you along and show you what, we, what our final day entails here in Voyagers National Park. It wasn't the best um, conditions for cooking food. My mom had to build a little fortress so the wind would not put out the fire. But she whipped up yet another breakfast of champions! <laughs> Ooh, it looks so good. We got what? Eggs, ham, potatoes, cheese, and a little bit of Lowry's. Lowry's. Just to top her off and make it mm -mm -mm delicious. So we're gonna munch on some breakfast and I don't know. Maybe hide from the hide from the wind under a tarp a little bit more until we decide something to do. Like that. And he's got like a diamond. No. Alright! He does have a fish. Hold on, Dad, I'm coming. This is rough terrain here. All right, let's see the big catch. The big catch. He's even got his own little swimming pool. <laughs> Look, the resuscitation pool. Oh, can you get out? No. And I can chill in here. Pike in his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Frank! You guys all know a swimming pool. Whoa! Oh, did he get out? <laughs> <laughs> he probably could get out of well, there. Good catch, Dad! Did you, all right, you we're back! We've been told we've added a fish to our collection. Oh, oh look, now it's there hiding. Now it's That's a big one. So there, there's the little guy. There's a the bigger one. Mama. Mama? Mama? Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. They're in our live well. <laughs> He's swimming around in there. Just keep breathing. He's getting smaller, he says. I don't know. He's running with me. I hope it's hooked him. He's a big fish. I don't think he's gonna fit. He's not gonna fit. He's gonna be out of the water. He's not gonna fit. Object, you see him? Oh my god! Look how big he is! It's a monster, guys! Oh Look at him! He's huge! That's a monster fish Calm from down. the shore! Calm down. Huge fish! It's a fish nonetheless on this rather windy day. Me and Sam uh, invented some Voyager games, so Sam will, Sam will take you on the first level. Gotta take some axe trucking from up close. There you go! Look at that! Alright, get let me the at her. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can do it with the camera in my hand. There we go! Get the dog away! Oh got him! Alright, Sam. Can you show us the next level, please? Level sire? two. Here we go, ready? Go. Up on the outside. Ready? One, two, three! Oh! We got it! Alright. Level 2 has to be attainable. 
Sam has the baton on level two. Oh, baton. <laughs> oh! That was a high throw! Look at that beauty. All right. Let's see if Jack can get it. I need to get level two here, guys. Level two of Voyager Games. Got it! Perfect, almost perfect throw. Voyager Games here in Voyager's National Park. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so strong. Oh. Next, we've got what I like to call target practice. All right, target. Okay, note, do not try this at home. Yeah, you want to get a YouTube strike. Oh! 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 Got it! Right in half. Boom! Kids, don't try this at home. That's Unless you're an elite, axe throwing athlete. All right, here we are in the back of the woods with our right. final game, the Voyager games. So we have these two ropes, one here, one here, and we have these little logs on strings. Um, if you guys are familiar with the game ladder golf, this is the Voyager's version of ladder golf. So we're gonna count this top rope as two points, this bottom rope as one point. I have one thing to throw, Sam has one thing to throw. You can only gain points by scoring more than the other person. So you can only get two, one, or nothing on each throw. And we're playing first one to 10 points wins. So let's get to chucking. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, two points. two points. Oh, I gotta match it. I also can't fumble the bag and give you two. Two points off the rip. Might be a quick game. <laughs> this might be a quick game. <laughs> Alright, two nothing here. Oh, another two! Can oh, Sam get it? Pressure on early. Oh, hey! he gets the two! No, no, two nothing. No points that round. Oh, oh, barely got it. Only Jack can say, uh-oh, when he throws and still get two points. <laughs> oh, oh, two more points. points for nothing. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. That's hey. this one. One point. Sam just has to miss this. Can't get shut out. Oh! Got it! Five nothing W here in Voyager Games. I just don't want the video to be too long. <laughs> well, folks, I think that is all for our Voyager game docket today. Sam did very good in the axe throwing, so did I. The sawing was a, a team effort. Although I did hit that target on that axe throw. And finally, I swept him with ladder golf. So we'll call it a good competition day. And thank you for watching in Voyagers National Park. Well, here we are at the end of our final full day in Voyagers National Park. And we are people of tradition. So we must go swimming. <laughs> we have swam, jumped off, showered, whatever you want to call it, in this lake every day, except today because it's been windy and cold. But today, we're not going to let that tradition break. So me and Olivia are hopping in the water. We're going to get our swim on. And we're not going to break our tradition on the last and final day of our stay here in Voyagers National Park. And hopefully you can stay on my chair and not fall off. <laughs> Let's go swimming! And there we go. The tradition is not broken. It's cold, but whew, gotta love swimming out here in the North Woods in Minnesota. <laughs> well, 
here we are at the end of day nine. We didn't even leave camp. We just kind of hung around, did some island fishing. Me and my brother did some, what we like to call Voyager games. Um, and uh, here we are at the end of the night with our amazing, what do you call these? Pulled pork quesadillas with a little bit of guacamole on it. Um, if, you, if you haven't noticed, me and Olivia are wearing matching Do Outdoors t-shirts. We're very sweet. They're two of four shirts in circulation. <laughs> I need a few more subscribers to uh, get them out in the market, but we're working there. We're getting to that point. But uh, thank you for watching up to this point and we're gonna indulge in some nice dinner. We'll catch you all tomorrow in the morning when we start packing up. Well, good morning from the last morning here in Foresters National Park. My brother had us at the early 5.30 wake up call because we have to tear everything down, pack it all up, shove it all in the boat, and then we have like, what, seven hours of travel, Dad, before we get home? Just, just a quick seven hours of travel, so we're out here taking down tents, the tarps down, put everything in bins, I've got to work on my tent and pack up and bust out of here. Well, here we are. Everything's packed up, all kind of dispersed into piles. Our last activity before we shove everything in the boat is to indulge in a couple last pudgy pie sandwiches. So, we're gonna have some quick egg and cheese pudgy pies, show everything in the boat, and hit the water for the 18 mile boat ride back to the launch. Well, we're all packed up, just have to untie the ropes and head on our way home. successfully made it back to the dock, made it back to the launch. Now we just have to cross our fingers, hope it doesn't rain on us. <laughs> Get the boat on the trailer and put like the majority of this into the back of the truck. We made it a land, finally. This is it, the end, we made it. The boat's unpacked, the truck is full. We have reached civilization. We used the toilet. <laughs> We've reached civilization and we used the toilet. Sam's got the deodorant on and we're ready to head back home. Uh, thank you all for watching and subscribe for more Deodorant Doors content.